Hey, it's Acoustic Paint, I'm Elizabeth, and today I'm going to be painting a betta fish with watercolor. So I'm a little bit late to the party. Um, Mermaid is almost over. Currently as of filming, it is May 27th. And I wanted to do Mermaid, but there are two problems. One, it's too late. And two, I can't draw people or fish. So today I thought I'd kind of, kind of do a mix of both. Not drawing any people today, but I am going to be drawing a betta fish. It's Mermaid themed, kind of. Yeah, let's get started. So I know absolutely nothing about betta fish. I know that they need, I think it's minimum five gallon or minimum 10, not, not the two and a half that I know people put them in. And I know that males fight and that's pretty much everything I know about betta fish. Uh, I don't own any, I've never owned any. Um, I've only pitied them in pet stores when I go to buy dog food. I'm really just rambling at this point. I know absolutely nothing about betta fish. <laughs> this one kind of has a black head and it goes to blue. Then the fins are kind of blue and red. Oh, I've already messed up. I tend to use too big of a brush when I paint. I really need to stop doing that. There we go. Cool. I'm probably gonna lift a little bit of this blue right here just to make it look a little, give it a little bit of contrast. All right, I think that's looking really nice actually. Now I think I'm gonna move on to the top fin. Similarly to the body, it's got kind of the royal blue that comes up here and then it's got a darker blue, but then it also has shades of red and purple. So I'm gonna start with the blue that we used at the, on the body, which is 147. And then it goes into the darker color that we were using. And then I'm just gonna let it naturally kind of mix into a purple because there's a little bit of purple here. Actually, you know, while that's drying, I can move on to the lower fin, which is almost the exact same thing, except that there's just a little more red. And then while I've got the red out, I'm just gonna touch up this fin here because it's a very bright red and then goes kind of into that purple that we were using earlier. finished the lower fin. Now I'm gonna wait for all of this to dry and then I'm probably gonna darken up some of the darker tones, lighten up some of the lighter tones, and then add the tail here. And then this part, don't worry, I'll fix it later with probably some white gouache. All right, so I am back. My piece has dried pretty much. I'm working on the head a little more because I noticed that I made it just a little too stumpy, if that makes sense, which is good because I needed to fix that one bump anyway. All right, now let's move on to the tail. This one is a little bit lighter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color, the main blue color we've been using and then just mix some white into it to make it a little bit lighter. Okay. Now on top of this, I'm going to put a little bit of red and I'm just gonna be using the same red that we've been using, but then lighten it with water. So as you can see, I kind of touched up the rest of the body and the tail and now I'm gonna just add the eye, finish it off. I'm just gonna take the slightest touch of white gouache and add a highlight to the eye. All right, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and notification bell to be alerted every time we post a new video. Comment down below your thoughts or any future video ideas you have. Share this video with someone if you think they'll like it and have a fabulous day. Bye.